Brian, you've named your team to face England in the opening match of the 2023 TikTok Women's Six Nations. Firstly, though, how have things been since the squad reformed earlier this month? Yeah, it's been really good. We've been in for the last four weeks. We've, uh, we met up about a month ago, had three three-day camps together here at Orium, and it's been it's been really good to pull them together. Obviously, the, a lot of them have been away from us for a while since the World Cup, playing at the clubs, and it's been really good to reintegrate the group together and, and start kicking on for this TikTok Six Nations. And there are some new faces in camp, both in terms of players and also within your coaching staff. How are Martin and Chris settling into their roles? Yeah, really well, thanks. It, I mean, I think the group have pulled together really well. You know, we um, we wanted to, to shape the group up. We wanted to change things. You know, we're in the new World Cup cycle. Um, I think Martin brings a lot of experience. Um, Chris brings a lot of excitement. You know, he's got a lot of really good ideas. Um, you know, both kind of different style of coaches as well. A lot of questioning, a lot of challenging. Um, so it's really good to have different styles. And they work really well with Tyrone and myself as well. And, you know, Tyrone's worked, done a, a really good job defensively. And just to see him continue in, in the kind of the vein that he's in as well, it's, it's a, a really exciting coaching group now. And just on some of those new players, Francesca McGee will make her debut starting on the wing and Beth Blacklock potentially gaining her first cap off the bench. What will the two of them bring to the team? Uh, Fran's really exciting. It's really great to see her. She's um, you know, come through the system here in Scotland and she played, I thought she was excellent for the Thistles. You know, she was scoring tries for fun. She's, she's got real strength. She's really good on an edge. Um, she's, a, she's a powerful young girl um, and I think that she's got that kind of youthful exuberance as well. You know, she's no real fear. She'll, she'll have a real go. Um, Beth has been playing down at Harlequins. We've been keeping an eye on Beth for a while. She's been involved in the, the English setup previously. Um, but she brings, you know, as, in terms of a 12, you know, a real good go forward. But she's also got a really good skill set, both, both handling, running and kicking. And as a whole, the team has gained a lot of experience since last year with professional contracts in place for most players. Talk us through the impact that's had. Um, huge impact for us to go professional. You know, like I've been very clear to, to most people to say that you know professionalism on the field won't take, uh, won't go come straight away. It won't come in two, three, four months. It will, it will take a while. However, the difference that we are seeing is just being able to see the players rest, recuperate more the off-field stuff than the on-field stuff. We have been able to train obviously through the weeks, which means they can protect weekends when they're not playing. So it does give them downtime. Um, the fact that they're not training in the evening now allows them. It sounds weird, but giving them an eight-hour eight sleep, they're not finishing training at nine, going home, cooking, and then getting up, uh, you know, early in the morning for work. So they're getting good rest and recovery as well. So, which then that allows intensity of training. So, there's been a lot of changes. It's been really exciting, and, and it's um, it's been really positive uh, within the last few months. And then we know how big a challenge facing England is, but how excited are you to kick off this year's campaign in front of a sold-out Kingston Park? Yes, look, it's phenomenal to, to play against, albeit lost the World Cup final, the best team in the world, at a sold-out stadium in Newcastle. It's close enough to Scotland for, for there to be a lot of uh, blue and white flags, you know, and you know we're really excited to get going. The TikTok Six Nations is the best tournament in the world, um, you know, off the back of a World Cup and then starting a, a new World Cup series. So um, we've got a, a lot of new young faces, a lot of still experience in here, but a squad who are really excited to get going.